Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, and today your inner artist will get a workout as we create some new locations for creative play as we change the settings around us. To get us thinking, we're going to create a tree that reflects the changing seasons. And you can see that inside the tree, the four seasons are showing with symbols, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Okay, here's what you need to make this painting at home. Some acrylic paints, flat back gems and flowers, blue, uh, round, and crystals, some papers, pattern, solids, and sparkly, some paint brushes, some scissors, and a canvas that's been stretched. And you can use any size canvas to create this. The first thing I like to do is draw out my landscape. So I'll start with the grass down here. And I'm just using really light lines. And then you're gonna come up here and draw the trunk of your tree. And this can be really simple. And then I love um, kind of cartoony trees. So I'm just gonna draw almost a cloud shape for the leaves area. Then, this is the fun part. Let me turn this around. You're going to fill in each of these areas with color. So I would start, if I were you, with the tree. And you may have to redraw your shapes and symbols, but you can see that I'm kind of shaking things up a little bit this morning and mixing a light and dark shade of green and then just making little curve it, um, brush strokes to give that tree some dimension. But it's kind of fun to swirl two shades of paint together and see what happens. So you would just fill in this entire tree. And my thinking on this painting was that this would be fun for you and an adult to create together at home because there's some detailed areas that maybe um, an adult can help paint coming up next. So let's finish out our tree and we'll move on to the next area. Okay, and then make sure to put your brush in, a, in water so that the paint doesn't dry on the brush. The next thing we're going to paint is the tree trunk. And you can just use the wide section of your brush. And it may take one or two coats depending on what kind of paint you use. I'm using a little bit thinner paint today because I don't mind this cartoony look. And just come right up against the edge. And then you would just stop and let this dry. And what I like to do when I'm working at home is just use a hair dryer to speed up the dry time. Okay, so we've got one here. And you can see that all of these little shapes have already been painting as well as the sky. Now this is the part on these birds where you want to get a teeny tiny brush and really just go in and paint a triangle for the tail, a circle for the head, a triangle for the beak, and then another circle for the body. You can take any shape and break it up into familiar shapes like circles and triangles. Then for the grass, I used my thumb and this is super fun. And you'll have your own ideas. You could even do this in sections of the tree or fill it all in. And it's okay if it overlaps a little bit onto the blue and fills in any white areas. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is embellish these shapes because if you look at the finished one, you can see that in the tree, there's a little bit of uh, three-dimensional elements. So I'm gonna, going to use some white glue and I'll start with adding some snowflake centers. I'm using some blue gems for these. And then I found some really sparkly paper like this that I cut out little pieces. And I'm just going to highlight I'm just going to highlight half of the acorn. And if you get a little bit of glue on there, that, that's okay. You can try to wipe up most of it, but it'll dry matte and you won't be able to see it so much. But I got a little carried away on that one. Okay, and then if you look back at these snowflakes, all I did was use a liner brush with some blue paint. 
I got so excited about the acorns, I forgot to tell you how to paint these snowflakes. I just went back with lines and made an asterisk for snowflakes. And you can highlight those a little bit more with uh, white and blue paints. And then if we come over to the flowers, these are really fun because I've actually taken two gems and stacked them on top of each other like so, or you can just use single gems like this. And then for the bird, I cut a triangle for the nose. And you might need to brush out your glue a little bit and put that on there. And then I've cut some little, these are almost like leaf shapes. for the wings. Oh, and I almost forgot. We need a little bit of glue for a sparkly eye. But this is a really fun project that you can use all different kinds of elements to create a Four Seasons collaged painting.